Welcome to the MoVC Control Cabinet Products Basic to Intermediate Training. This is the introductory session, so this is definitely what you should be watching first. Let me introduce myself. My name is Don Congdon. I'm a corporate trainer at SEW Eurodrive. I'm also the creator of this course. I teach this both here online and I also teach live classes that we host at SEW four times a year. What you're going to receive through this online course is practically identical to the live instruction class. So this should be of great help for you if you're getting up to speed in MoVC Control Cabinet products. Now, probably the first thing I should do is answer a very obvious question, what is MoVC? Well, let me mention this. At SCW Eurodrive, an awful lot of our products begin with the word MoVI. So the MoVIs can get a little confusing. What I'd like to do here is clarify what the MoVC product line is. Now, many of SCW Eurodrive's established products are loosely classified as what we in-house call the B generation technology. Possibly you're familiar with some of these if you've been an SCW customer. If you're brand new to SCW products, then maybe this won't make a whole lot of sense. But the B generation includes things like the low end, Variable frequency drives such as MoviTrack LTEB, MoviTrack LTPB, and the MoviTrack B, and then the high end MoviDrive B, which has been our flagship product for many years. We also have more specialized products like Movi Pro, and we have what are called decentralized products, such as the Movi Gear, which are designed to be used on things like logistics conveyor lines. Besides those products, there are a lot of supporting components and also controllers, such as the Movi PLC line. That is the B generation. That is the classic SEW product line. It's developed over many years, and we've sold a great number of them, and they're definitely driving the world in countless places. However, around 2016, SCW Eurodrive decided it was time to rethink the whole product line and introduce a fresh look, almost developed from the ground up. And that is what Movi C is. It's what we call the C generation of products. So Movi C, to answer it very simply, is simply the next generation of SCW Eurodrive technology. And as you can see from the picture here, it has a new fresh look and it includes a lot of components. Movi C products include new variable frequency drives, new decentralized drives, new controllers, and also products to go with them, such as intelligent motors, motors that communicate over hybrid cables and provide a digital data stream to the devices they're connected to. MoVC is an exciting new product line that we expect to become the backbone of SCW Eurodrive Electronics for many years to come. So that is what you're here to learn about the MoVC technology. By the way, simply as an aside, if you are an existing customer or you have some B generation technology like MoVDrive B, we do offer online courses in those products as well. If you take a look on YouTube, you will find we offer the equivalent of a two-day course in MoviDrive B. So we are certainly supporting our existing and older products just as much as our up-and-coming products. You might want to take a look at some of those. But let's move ahead now and talk about MoviC, which is what you're here to study. First of all, there's a real question you might be asking if you're new to SCW. What is so great about MoVC besides the fact that it's new? Well, I can answer that with a single word, and that is consistency. The MoVC product line, above all, is consistent. The entire product line, which includes many different components, follows a consistent design paradigm. It is a well thought through product line where you find consistency from one product to the next. And that means when you get up to speed in one product, you'll be able to quickly transition to understanding other products in the MoVC line. The knowledge you learn from one product applies to the others. And I have found this myself as I've been getting up to speed in new MoVC products as they come over to the United States from Germany and I get to play with them. 
I have been very impressed with the overall consistency. The advantage to this, it means you're not constantly climbing steep new learning curves. Yes, every new product has a learning curve, but they're not that steep. Once you understand the MoVC paradigm, you will have very little trouble adapting to new MoVC products as you encounter them. That has not necessarily been true with older products. Many of our earlier products were sort of unique unto themselves, and what you learned about one did not necessarily apply to another. But with MoVC, it's really just a very well thought through, consistent package of technology. Okay, now before you start taking this class, there's a few things you need to know. First of all, who's the class for? Well, I would say anyone who's interested in learning about MoVC control cabinet products. You can be a total beginner, you can be an experienced user, I think you'll gain something from this class. This class is also designed both for SEW EuroDrive internal people who wish to learn about product or our customers. It's equally appropriate to both. And if you, for some reason, want to come to one of our live classes, that's the perspective we take there. If you sit down to one of those classes, you may find yourself sitting next to an SEW employee or an SEW customer. So this class really is designed for everybody. Now, that said, what do you need to take this class besides yourself? Well, the big thing, of course, you need if you want to take full advantage of it is you need to have a demo unit or trainer. Now, I'm showing you a typical example. This is actually the one sitting on my desk right next to me. This one includes two MoVC VFDs. You do not need two of them for this class. It just happens to be the demo unit I have. Now, if you're an SCW EuroDrive employee, you can probably get a hold of one of these from the training department. You can borrow one while you're taking the class. If you're a customer, however, then you're going to have to come up with something on your own to help you. So if you're an SCW employee, try to get a hold of one of our standard demo units. If you're a customer, let me make a few recommendations what you need. The first thing you need to get a hold of is a MoviDrive technology. That is the variable frequency drive we're going to be using in this course. Doesn't matter what size, you probably want one of the smaller ones just for convenience, but really any one will work. So get yourself a MoviDrive technology. You're also going to need a motor with an encoder or resolver. Now it can be an asynchronous motor or a synchronous servo motor like the example I'm showing here. I like the servo motors just because they're compact and quiet and don't weigh a whole lot, but it doesn't really matter. But it is important that it has a feedback device, an encoder of some kind, or if it's a servo motor, a resolver is fine as well. It cannot be a purely open loop control motor or you won't be able to do all the activities in this class. The ideal thing would be to have both an asynchronous motor and a servo motor. But if you have just one or the other, you can do almost everything in the class. You're going to need a control box to connect up to the inputs and outputs on the MoviDrive technology. This is a standard SEW demo control box. It has some switches and lights on it, and these allow you to interact with the variable frequency drive. You could put something like this together yourself, or you could get something similar to a standard control box. That's up to you, but you do need the ability to trigger the digital inputs and get some feedback by indicator lights. So you need a control box. You also need the USM21A USB adapter. This allows you to communicate between your PC and the VFD. You cannot use one of the older USB adapters that SCW sold. You do need to have the new one, the gray one, not the orange one. And it needs to have the correct cables. Normally it comes with a cable set with all the different cable styles that are possible, but you'll need one that can connect to the MoviDrive technology. You'll need a computer loaded with our Movi Suite engineering software, and you just need the standard edition, which is free, and you can download it from SCW from their website. To do one of the labs, you will need the CBG21A keypad. You can see that attached to the Movi Drive technology there. It's the full color keypad. If you do not have this, it's okay. You'll just have to skip the hands-on activity, but of course you can watch it. 
but you should have it if you want the full experience so you can learn to use the keypad. Okay, that is all you really need to have to cover everything in this course. So either assemble it together yourself or get a demo unit or a trainer. Here, by the way, is where you can download Movi Suite, the engineering software. You go to sewurodrive.com, pick the Products tab, then pick Software, start up in Engineering, and then Movi C Engineering Software, Movi Suite. Download the standard package and install it, and you're good to go. By the way, it takes a little time to install, so give yourself enough time. And that is all you'll need for this class. So what are the goals? What do I want you to achieve as you work your way through the different sessions that we have here on the YouTube channel? Well, first of all, I want you to understand the MoVC control cabinet family branches because there are several. And you should be able by the time you're done to summarize the qualities and features of each branch, to tell them apart, to know how they differ from each other, to know which ones are better for certain applications than others. I also want you to be able to explain the role and sizing of MoVC controllers. Some MoVC products require an external controller. They come in different sizes. I want you to be able to decide what size might be necessary and what the size information tells you. You should be able to summarize the control cabinet product options as well. You should be able to compare and contrast the motor control modes that are available. The variable frequency drives you're going to learn about support four different motor control modes. You need to understand what each one is for and which one is best for a given application. You should understand the MoVC control cabinet product nomenclature. Nomenclature can be very confusing and complicated. Every company has its own unique nomenclature. SEW Eurodrive is no exception. Ours is a little challenging for a beginner to master, but I'll step you through it and you'll be able to look at a label on a MoVC product and understand what it can do. You should be able to recognize the product connectors and identify their functions. There are a lot of connectors on a MoVC variable frequency drive. You need to know what those do. You should be able to interpret status and fault codes on the displays of different products. You should understand the various roles of the built-in firmware in MoVC products and how it interacts with different software. You should summarize the different ways to connect a PC to a MoVC system. There are multiple ways, and I'd like you to understand them all. And you should be able to understand the roles that process data words, which are PDs, and function control blocks play in access control. If that means absolutely nothing to you and you have no idea what that means, don't worry. You will by the time the class is over. And then finally, you should be able to identify the capabilities of various Movi kits. Now you're probably thinking, what's a Movi kit? It's another Movi. A Movi kit is a canned application package. It's a piece of software that gets loaded into the variable frequency drive and gives it extra capabilities to handle specific kinds of applications, like a speed control application or a positioning control application. It extends the capability of the variable frequency drive and makes it much more powerful. SEW offers a lot of different Movi kits. They vary in their capabilities and what they do. Some are free, some you have to pay for, but they definitely give an edge to our product. So you'll be learning about those. Now, what skills can you hope to acquire by the time you complete all these sessions? Well, you'll learn to connect to a Movi C unit with a PC and the Movi Suite software package. And then you'll be able to navigate the product using the Movi Suite software package. So we're going to get you up to speed in the engineering software. You'll be able to take a unit and reset it to a factory delivery condition, something that's important to do sometimes. You'll also be able to identify and clear faults from individual units if you see a fault flashing on the front display. You'll be able to do a basic startup and confirm that the variable frequency drive works in manual mode. You'll be able to configure the drive for what's called terminal control mode, also known as binary mode. 
It's probably the simplest way to control a variable frequency drive. There are certainly more sophisticated ways you'll be learning about, but this is really sort of the bare bones way to control it. You'll be able to calculate, program, and test different kinds of ramps. That's how fast you speed up and slow down. You'll be able to work with one of the free Movi kits, Velocity Control. You'll be able to configure it and test it and run that drive in speed control mode. You'll learn to use the keypad to manage the drive. You can actually do a lot with just the keypad. You don't have to use a PC even. And then you'll learn to do more advanced motor startups. Once you've done that, you'll kind of graduate up to the next level and do some really sophisticated things using a built-in diagnostic tool called the scope. The scope lets you tune the drive, optimize it for a given application, and above all, to solve problems. If you have an application where the variable frequency drive keeps stopping with a fault code and you can't figure out why, the scope is a wonderful tool to help you solve those problems. So we'll be getting you up to speed in that. And then finally, we'll wrap up by playing with another Movi kit called Position Control. This allows you to do sophisticated positioning. So a lot of fun things to learn, a lot of skills to acquire. Let me give you a handy tip as we go along through these presentations. Look out for red terms. I highlight a lot of things in red. Many of these are sort of like vocabulary terms. They're important concepts that you should pay attention to and remember. Now, not every single thing that's read is a term. I leave it to you to figure out which ones are and which ones aren't, but many of them are. So pay attention when you see red and maybe take a few notes even. Now, a little warning. We are not working with a toy. We are working with a serious piece of industrial equipment. Most variable frequency drives are powered by either 230 or 460 volts three-phase AC. That can very easily kill you. Those voltages are internally processed and stored within the variable frequency drive as direct current that's as high as almost 700 volts DC. Some of the connectors do have those high voltages on them, and if you touch them, you can definitely be injured or killed. So you need to be very careful and treat this as a serious tool that you are working with. So be very cautious. All electrical principles of safety apply. If you don't know what you're doing, talk to someone who does before you turn anything on. And if you put your own demo unit together, be sure you have a quick, easy, and safe way to kill the power right away if something goes wrong. A big red switch is a smart idea. So please be sensible and cautious and ask for help if you need it. A word about documentation. SEW Eurodrive publishes all its documentation in PDF form. You can get it from the website. Let me point you to a few things that will be a good idea to have handy. First of all, you probably want to get the product manual for the MobiDrive technology. You should go on the website and get the most recent edition. This is currently the most recent edition when we're making this video, but of course that could change. So start there. Then there's the Compact Operating Instructions Manual, which is kind of the abridged edition, tells you just the essentials you need to know to get started. There's also the full operating instructions, which is much more complete. And then finally, if you really want to know absolutely everything about MoviDrive technology, or if you're suffering from insomnia, the MoviDrive technology parameter manual, which talks about every single operating parameter inside the unit. These four manuals are extremely useful. Now, of course, in most cases, you don't have to delve that deeply to get things done. This class will really help you to do almost everything. But I do point you to these things because they really can help. Now, how do you find these on our website? Well, you go to sewurodrive.com and then you click the online support, data and documents, change from the CAD data to the documentation tab, and just type Movie Drive technology in. The search list will come up and you will get a lot of choices and you can download those PDFs. Final thing, what if you have questions as you go along? You're working and something just does not make sense? You are welcome to email the training department. That's our email address there. 
training at sewurodrive.com. And I do ask you to include Moby C class in the subject line, just so your email goes to the right person. We will be happy to help you with any questions you have about the class. Of course, be aware we are not a technical support department. We cannot deal with your actual applications. We're not here to give advice on that. We are here purely to support this course. If you have a question about an application, contact your district sales manager, or you contact the regional engineering department of SEW Eurodrive closest to your location, and they can certainly route you to people who can help you. But if you have questions about the class, we are more than happy to help you out. All right, and with that said, that is the end of the introduction. So you're into the class now, getting ready to move into session one. Let me just tell you what's ahead. We're going to go through several sessions to get you up to speed in the technology. You can watch those first, and then we're going to get into some hands-on sessions where you can do what are kind of like labs. So if you've got to put a demo unit together, you have several sessions of knowledge you can watch first, but you will need that demo unit eventually to do the hands-on. We will step through those, and if you don't have a demo unit, you can at least learn from watching those as I go through the labs. All right, so see you in session one.